basically this video has been like asked for like probably more than 20 times on just one video um, if I haven't guessed it already, uh, we are going to be creating this side menu on TripleAgent.com. Basically, it's a really easy tutorial, and I can't believe that so many people want to see it because it's really easy to do, but I guess that it's really interesting how you can do it because there are many ways you can do it. So I'm going to show you the easiest way I could figure it out. So I have tried this before. Um, I actually did this video and then I deleted it and then I recorded it again and then I delete that one So I'm doing it for the third time and the reason I, I deleted the other videos was because I didn't like the way I explained it So I'm gonna be explaining step by step how we're gonna be doing this amazing side nav menu Before we step in the tutorial, I wanna thank you all for 300 and 30 subscribers now this is freaking amazing thank you so much also in the last tutorial i actually showed you how to make um the div for new york but i'll um i also went off went on off camera uh to finish off the whole website uh, i mean the whole main body of the website so basically let me just show you that the colors are absolutely the same look at berlin and look at this and i'm gonna show you exactly how to do it so let me go in the HTML and show you a div for let's say Los Angeles. All right, there is there it is. So there's a div called city card right. That's just to align it, and then it has an ID of Los Angeles. Then inside that div, there's a section with the content. So in that section is this a link. Um, there's also this image, and then there's also this description. Let me show you and explain to you how and why I've decided to do it like this. So let me just go and scroll down to Los Angeles. And this is the div. So this is the background image of the whole div. And then when we go to the Los Angeles content, which is the section tag, it has a weird background color of a transparent purple color. Now let me show you what has it. So let me just remove it. And you can see how it changes. And it looks really like oh no sorry. Uh, it looks really um, bright like uh, when it doesn't have it. So I'm just gonna add the background color, and you can see that it looks better. Let me show you. For, let me show you again with London. Now this is how it's supposed to look like, and look what happens if I remove the background color of London. See, it looks really weird, but when I add the background color, it looks amazing. Now I didn't copy the color code off. TripleAgent.com. It was actually a hex clone, and I converted it into RGBA, and yeah, that's how I did it. It's not created exactly the same way over here, but it's a similar way, so I decided to do it uh, my way. Um, if you want the source code of the whole website, just email me. You can find my email in the About tab on my channel. Uh, you, you can just send me an email saying that you want it. Doesn't really matter why, and I'll send you a .zip file with this whole website. Now for this tutorial, I've actually created, um, I've actually created, um, what happened here? I've created a new file called functions.js and I've also went on to, oh, let me just expand this a little bit because I don't like it. Okay, there we go. I've also went to the index.html and I've, I've added it. Uh, I've added the file of functions.js here and I've also added uh, jQuery with the CDN in Google so you can just go to Google uh, you can just write in uh, Google jQuery CDN and this one developers.google.com and you can just copy the code that's this one right here and then you include it in, at the bottom of your website. So let's get it right into tutorial. So let me be, let me just first show you what we're going to be creating this tutorial. So we're going to be creating this side nav. Now it looks pretty sweet. And actually, um, when we press on the side nav, so when the side nav is activated, you can't scroll down on the page. And that's really easy to do, actually. Another thing is that look at the movement. What do you think moves, the header or the side nav? Yeah, so basically the header 
is on top of the side nav and moves exactly 303 pux minus 330 30 pixels to the left and it reveals the side nav so the side nav isn't coming in actually the header is revealing it because it's it, the side nav isn't moving at all so it's really easy to do and this is how we're gonna do it I've in here I've created a plugin you can go ahead and copy it actually I haven't created it I copied it from a website that I forgot how it's called but I checked and it's open source so um, I have covered uh, copyright so um, basically we are gonna be using a J JavaScript plugin uh, actually a jQuery plugin in the future not not now uh, not for the side nav but actually for a click outside so I'm gonna explain what it means and when we get to that part of the tutorial but uh, so this is how we're gonna do it we are gonna create a div right above the header with an ID of side nav we're gonna close it off and we're gonna put a paragraph inside saying close um, that's gonna be just the close button nothing else so we're gonna change that later so now we can go back up and let me see it. Uh, okay, so I've created a comment saying side nav CSS, so we're just gonna write side nav. I've also checked the width, and I know that the width is 303 pixels, and the height is 100 viewport height. The background color is white, and then it's also right to zero. I also have to add position of absolute. Now it's actually on on the bottom, but if we want to show, uh, if we want to see how it looks, you can just add a Z index. Now, actually, I'm gonna add the Z index uh, to the header. There we go. Uh, just to make sure that it's nested on top of the side nav. Now, what we're gonna do is we are gonna create a JavaScript function uh, jQuery function actually and we're gonna activate it when um, when the page loads so function and actually inside this ready function we're gonna add event handler so basically what this means is well whenever the website has loaded um, do whatever is inside this function so now we're gonna add an event handler. So what's an event handler? An event handler is a function that gets run or called whenever you do something. So um, dot ready is actually an event handler, and it's when it loads the website loads. Um, dot click is another example of event handler in jQuery, and it's whenever you click on something. In JavaScript, it's on click. I can do on mouse over, on mouse out, on there are a ton of uh, event handlers. I'm not gonna go through all of them. So we're gonna add a dot click, and then we're gonna add a function inside. But we have to say what we're gonna be clicking on, and we're gonna be clicking on this button to activate the side menu. So we're gonna be clicking on slide toggle. Let me just go back to the JavaScript slide toggle now let me just show you that it works inside this function I'm gonna be create I'm gonna say alert wool or whatever now when I click on it the event handler is gonna get run and the function inside or is gonna get called as well so there we go uh, the alert popped up now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to our CSS and we're gonna add uh, a new class to the header so header dot toggled and it's gonna get moved let me just see this so position relative um left minus 330 pixels so this is gonna be the how it's gonna look when the side nav is toggled then it's also gonna have a, uh, an overflow overflow of hidden so it can't scroll down it actually can Okay, so no overflow, maybe. Let me see. Yeah, okay. Yeah, perfect. So we are gonna say left minus 230 pixels. And here I'm just gonna say left zero. 
Um, also, here I want to say that the height is 100 before height. Actually, max height. Um, now let me see it. Okay. And the overflow is going to be hidden. Okay, perfect. So now I'm just going to copy these two attributes and paste it paste them in the dot toggled. Now what we're going to do is we are going to say whenever we click on that um we're going to select the header so header dot add class we're going to add a class of toggled to the header whenever we click on the this button. But we don't want to do add class because add class is just going to add it and then it it can't be removed. Or it can be removed, but with a uh, with a remove class. Um, but as you can see here, when I click on this again, it closes it. So um, we are gonna do toggle class. Now, what toggle class means is if it doesn't have a class, then add it, and if it does, then remove it. So it's gonna toggle it. And now let's test it out. And there we go. So this is our side nav, and it's this easy to create it. But we are not even halfway there to the wanted result. We have a bunch of stuff to do left. So the first thing is the animation. So I'm gonna uncomment this. And this is a transition, a cubic base zero one, uh, with a 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.25, and 0 0.9 uh, animation. So um, now when we click on it, it's really smooth. And it's exactly like here, so I actually copied it from here, so it's exactly the same. Now, in this tutorial, I won't be showing you how to create, um, like, we won't be styling the site now. We're only going to be creating the animation, so the styling is going to be next Monday. So, I've done a little bit changes. I've done a little, I've done a little changes to the program um, of my channel, so the upload schedule action of the program. And basically, I've decided to upload um, once every Monday instead of once every Monday and Thursday. And the reason for that is because whenever I finish a, um, a certain series, I have no idea what to record. I have no idea whether to record like a cool jQuery um, like tutorial or a review a plugin or create like a new series. So that's why I'm going to allow myself to upload once a week to have a little bit more freedom to think about new ideas and also to edit the videos better. So um, now when we click on this, it's gonna get closed again. Now what we wanna do is whenever we click on this, so actually I guess we can actually put um, an X over here. So we've included the CDN of Ion Icons in the previous tutorials and I'm just gonna copy this code actually hold on is it round here no uh, actually so I'm just gonna copy this and I'm gonna close it and now instead of saying close I'm actually I'm just gonna put a link there so href javascript void zero close the link id equals slide close and then it's gonna have a class of iron clothes. Now it's an X. And I'm not gonna style it this tutorial, we're gonna be styling it in the next tutorial. So now we have to do another event handler uh, saying that whenever we click on this, um, it should get closed. So iron clothes. And then we are gonna say jQuery. Uh, when we click on ion close, actually no wait, it's not this. It's slide close dot click and the event handler, and inside we're gonna call a function. Now we're also gonna say um, header dot toggle class toggled. There we go. It's as simple as this. So basically why we did toggle class is basically it's saying that if it does have a class remove it and if it doesn't add it. Now we don't need to add the class but um, we can also do remove class but I don't really see why not. 
uh, just do toggle class. So this one works either way. Um, I guess we can leave it remove class. It makes more sense. Um, what we're gonna be doing? Wait, let me just test this. Now if I click on this, there we go. So now what we're gonna be doing is let me just give you an example. So when we click on this, we can scroll down, and that's what we're gonna be doing now because when I toggle the menu here, you can scroll down all the way to the um, bottom of the website and we don't want that so I'm gonna close that off now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the body and I'm gonna give the body a class of toggled as well and it's gonna have it's gonna say overflow hidden basically um now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back and right uh, on top of the header dot toggle class we're gonna add the body dot toggle class of toggled and now we're gonna copy it here and paste it in here now I'm gonna just change this group of class now when we click on it we can't scroll down and that's exactly what we want now when we click on it on the close we can scroll down and that's the wanted effect that we want so it's pretty simple as you can see um, the next thing I want to do is so over here it has an overflow of scroll and uh, how to do that well it's a little bit trickier than you might think so first um, I'm gonna go to a lorem ipsum generator just to copy like random paragraphs uh, I'm gonna say one paragraph and I'm gonna copy oops and I'm gonna copy this I don't know if this is the paragraph for this is so I'm just gonna copy the this one and then I'm gonna go in the HTML and I'm gonna create basically paragraph tags let's create a couple of more like maybe this is gonna be the last one there we go so now you can see that it can scroll down because the body it has a class that removes the overflow. So what we have to do is we're gonna go to the side nav and we're gonna add a class to the side nav called toggle and we're gonna say oh wait actually we don't need to add a class. What we're gonna do is actually just say um overflow actually no we do need a class and I'll show you just why in a second. So actually no, okay. I'm sorry why I'm changing my opinion, but let me just show you what I mean. Uh, why we need a class. So let's say overflow x. Actually, y is gonna be a scroll. Now we can scroll down. But whenever I click on this and now look closely, you can see that there are two uh, scrolls, and we don't want that. We want only one at all time because it's not like this over here as you can see so that's why we're gonna add a new class to the side nav so side nav uh, dot toggled okay and then overflow y scroll uh, otherwise it's gonna have an uh, overflow of y hidden so now we can't scroll down. But how to uh, how to apply the class? Well, basically it's going to be the same thing. So side nav dot toggle class of of toggled. <laughs> I forgot the uh, the name of the class. And then I'm going to remove it here. Side nav dot remove. Oops remove class of toggled now let's test it out we can scroll down and there there is one scroll as you can see all right so we're pretty much done with the side nav but there is one last thing that I want to do for this tutorial before we end it off so let me just delete this and this is going to get automatically um, overflowed whenever we put in more content to the side nav which is going to happen in the next tutorial 
But now let me give you an example of what I mean that I want to do for the last thing in this tutorial. So when the side nav is toggled, whenever I click on the body, it actually removes the toggle class of the side nav. And we aren't doing this right here, and that's what I want to do right now. So, by the way, uh, I have no idea how Truth Legion has done their side nav. I just decided that this is the easiest way to do it, so that's why I'm doing it. Um, so also, that is where this JavaScript plugin is going to come in use. So, it's a click outside uh, plugin. So basically, what we're going to do is... If the slide nav has a class of toggled, then uh, when we click somewhere on the body except on the slide nav and this button, then remove the class of toggled. It's pretty simple to do, it's pretty fast forward. So we're gonna say if, if uh, jQuery, oh no, we don't need this. So if jQuery slide nav, um, actually, no, not slide nav, let's say just header. Let me just start it all over. Um, so if if jQuery header dot has class of toggled and we don't have to do true. I mean we can, but we don't have to. So that's I'm gonna do that because has class returns a boolean of uh, false or true. And if we want to see if something is true, we don't have to write true. But if we want to say if it's false, then we have to do uh, we have to check if it's false. So now, what I'm gonna do is, if this has a class of toggle, then do whatever um, is inside here. So let me just give an example. It has a class. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. We are gonna have to put it on. We're gonna have to put this if um, over here. There we go. Now it does say it. So, um, if this has a class of toggled, we are going to say um, jQuery uh, slide toggle and then side nav dot click outside. Now, we, um, this is a event that is called with this plugin. So, that's what the plugin does. It, it calls a click outside function. Uh, and then inside we're gonna put a function so let me just go um, and let me just stop right there and explain what we're doing so what we're doing is we're putting in the parentheses um, the elements that we wanna um, save um, actually we wanna create an exception of the clicking on the body so okay I don't know how to explain it so Whenever we call the click outside function, um, it's gonna check this, and it's gonna see that if we, it's gonna check if we've clicked outside of these elements. So if we, if we've clicked outside of the site toggle and outside of the site nav, then it's gonna do whatever is inside this function. So I hope that, like, I hope I explained it really good. I, well, not really good, but I hope it, you understand it now. So now we are gonna say, um. We're just gonna copy this code. Now let's check it out. Oh, okay. Okay, so now I see the problem. So now you have to click two times here. Actually, more than two times. I'm gonna refresh. Okay, so it doesn't work. Okay, so I know what the error is. Um, the error is that whenever you click on the side of that, um, it's actually. Well, actually, I don't know what the problem is. What if you put it actually at the top? Oh, okay. Okay. Um. Wait. All right. I guess we, I guess we can put it inside a body dot click. So body dot click function. And then we can basically just copy this if. Oh. Now let's check it out. Okay, it still doesn't work for some reason. Hmm. Wait, let me just test this. So, alert something. 
Okay, but you can see that it's alerting it. Um, even if we click on, no, let me just refresh. So look, I'm clicking on this, and it's still uh, alerting it. So I guess we have an error in our code somewhere. So click outside. Hmm. Click outside. Okay, let me just copy this. Maybe I've misspelled somewhere, and I don't see it. Uh, now if we do like alert something, no, I guess it doesn't work. Okay. Oh, okay, okay, I got it. <laughs> it's pretty stupid of me. So, um, basically we are saying if it has a header. I mean, if the header has a class, then this should work. But if it doesn't then uh, it shouldn't work so we are gonna remove the whole event handler and we're just gonna write side uh, slide toggle and side nav dot click outside function and then we're just gonna copy this there we go now when we click outside, it works perfectly. And now let me just test it out. I'm gonna click on this, it should close it out. Okay, so let me go step by step and explain one more time what we've done since we've created a whole header. So first thing first, what we did was we created the HTML. So we created a div and inside we just put a close button. And then we went to in the CSS and we said, um, we want to add a, a class of the header. We want to add toggle to the header, which is going to align it to the left, minus 330 pixels. So it's going to slide to the left. And then um, we are going to do the same for the body and the side nav. Then we went in the functions.js and we basically put together everything. So we're saying whenever we click on this, um, it's going to apply these classes if it doesn't have them but if they do have these classes then it's going to remove them then what we did was we had to create this close button and basically what we're doing is whenever you click on the close button it's going to remove the class of toggled to all three elements and then finally we used this J jquery plugin that you can copy from just pausing the video and writing it or i guess if you if you ask in the comments what the code is, I'll paste it, I'll give you it. Um, and then what we've done is actually we've created uh, this click outside event handler, which is basically saying whenever you click outside of site toggle and site nav, then it's going to run this function. And what this function is doing is it's removing the class of toggle to all three elements. Actually, we needed to remove class because yeah, it's gonna toggle it now. So it's a good thing that I saw the setter. So we're gonna have to do remove class instead of toggle class. Remove class. And there we go. So now we can only toggle the side nav by clicking by clicking here, not clicking here, clicking here. And then we can also remove it by clicking outside. So it's as simple as this. Now this is the easiest way that I could do it. Maybe there are a ton of other ways. I I could think like three more ways to do it right now. Um, I have no idea how they've done it here, but I'm just saying that it's the easiest way to do it this way. Maybe there's an easier way, I'm not sure. So if you find an easier solution, make sure to leave it down in the comment section below. And so yeah, this is it for this tutorial. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a, uh, leave a slap. What am I saying? Um, if you've enjoyed this tutorial, make sure to like it and comment down below if you have any questions. And also, if you want, if you want to request a video, make sure to always uh, leave it down in the comment section below. And I always try my best to reply to every single comment. So yeah, anyway, guys, um, it's been a pleasure teaching you this tutorial, and I'll see you in the next one.